Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix wand pack. So yeah, let me just set the camera down so I can get a better angle. There we go. And I'm just going to open this up. Sliding it open. There are, I'm pretty sure I counted right, 11 wands in this. And I'm going to stand it up now. So it does come with stuff to wear it as like a keychain or a necklace, which already this just fell out. And some nice velvet lining. I'm just gonna take this out because this is really annoying. And I'm gonna be reviewing each of the wands separately, and I'm pretty sure I know who all the wands belong to, except for two, which I need some help with. So yeah. Um yeah. Um this will be the first one I'll be reviewing, so yeah. So the first one I'm pretty sure is like Harry Potter's wand. Like Harry's actual wand. Get the camera to focus on it. There we go. So, um, I'm pretty sure this is an acacia wand, and it's pretty nice. There are holes to put them on the keychain, necklaces or whatever. And this one has a pretty nice hold. I'm just gonna, you guys can't see me holding it or anything, but like, it's pretty comfortable to hold. And yeah, <laughs> Avada Kedavra, it's, it's cool, I like this. This is one of my favorite wands. I This would be like my main wand probably. So yeah, onto the next wand. So the next wand is the Elder Wand, and I forgot to mention that these are made out of metal. I'm pretty sure they're all made out of metal except for a few which are probably made out of rosin. I'm pretty sure my dad said that when I got it. So um, yeah, this is a little less comfortable to hold just because the ridges, but it's a pretty good match and everything. Um, nice detailing on these little hole things, if I can get the camera to focus. Focus. There. F f focus. Whatever. <laughs> And yeah, it's actually pretty comfortable to hold if you just hold it like right there or if you have larger hands You can hold it like right here But yeah, it works pretty good So yeah For those of you who don't know the elder wand is one of the most powerful the most powerful wand in existence and is one of the deathly hollows So yeah on to the next wand Next up is Ron Weasley's wand and um this wand is pretty cool. I'm not going to mention like the cords or anything because I don't have time to look this up. But the way you can tell if it's Ron's wand is because it looks like a little pin at the bottom. That's how I recognized it. It looks like those little decorations that you hang on your tree, like those fake icicles or, or something. That's what they remind me of. I actually have a lot of those on my tree, so that's what made me think of these. So this is pretty comfortable to hold too. You can put your fingers right here, or you can put them like this and waving it. I would give it like a little 7 out of 10 maybe just because it feels like it's gonna like rip your hand off or your arm off. <laughs> I don't know why, maybe I'm just like weak and tired or something, but yeah. So they all have this little hole right here to like put it on the keychain or whatever. So yeah, on to the next wand. The next wand is Crumb's wand. Okay, this is one of the most confusing wands I've ever seen in my life. The camera doesn't even like it because it won't focus camera still won't focus there okay so I'm pretty sure that's like a snake or something or like a I don't know I have no clue what this is at the bottom but this is Crumb's wand if I haven't already said it and Crumb is the guy from the Triwizard Tournament not the one in the yellow outfit that's Cedric Crumb is like the other bald weirdo and holding this wand is very confusing it's just <laughs> what it's impossible to hold it confuses me so much because if you try to hold it like this, it goes at an angle. I think this is just for like decoration or something. I would never use this as an actual wand or something because this is horrible. That's probably why Crumb lost the tournament. <laughs> so yeah, on to the next wand. <laughs> the next wand, I actually do not know who it belongs to. So if you guys know who it belongs to, tell me in the comments. And this is actually pretty comfortable to hold. Um, just this gets a little confusing there's like no specific group for one of your fingers i would honestly hold it like this and then just kind of like back the rest of your hand together and then yeah so it works pretty well and like i said if you know who it belongs to tell me in the comments so yeah on to the next one the next one is voldemort's wand and i was actually watching goblet of fire like two hours ago and it was so cool when Pettigrew handed um, the wand to Voldemort. It was crazy. And so, I don't know if this happens to everyone, but to me, mine looks a little bent, which bugs me, but 
Voldemort's wand isn't my favorite wand. And to me, this is a back scratcher to me, just because it has this perfect little claw. And holding it, it's actually, if you find the right groove, I would do something like this, like that. So it's a pretty cool wand to wave around if you're like a Voldemort fan or you're just an evil person. And this would be a cool wand if you're a fan of Harry Potter. So yeah, on to the next wand. So another wand, another wand that I don't know who it belongs to. This wand, to me, it looks like it belongs to maybe some like Fred or some Weasley. I don't know. I know it's not Ginny's. I already looked up Ginny's, but it's like silver to the bottom and then it's like shinier at the top, it's like a darker color. And it has these two little prongs at the bottom, and that that hole isn't actually supposed to be there. That's for the chain. So if you know who this wand belongs to, tell me in the comments. It's a pretty cool wand. Waving it, I would rank it, I don't know, 6 out of 10 just because these little prongs tug at your like hands and makes them want to fly out. And I wouldn't say there's like really a comfortable position. But yeah, it's a pretty cool wand in general. So yeah. On to the next wand. So the next wand, I love this wand. This is Luna's Luna Lovegood's wand, and Luna Lovegood is like the best Harry Potter character ever, don't argue. And I really like this. I don't know if that's supposed to be a flower or whatever, but yeah. And it has a really nice shiny color, and it is very comfortable to hold. You can hold it in like any position with any groove of your fingers, and it works splendid. I love this. I wouldn't say it's as comfortable as the Acacia wand or the Elder wand, but I really, really like it. And of course, I love Luna, so... I'm gonna have to give this a 9.3 out of 10 just because I love Luna. That's why I put the extra 2.3 is for. Just a final look at the wand. So yeah, we have three wands left, so on to the next wand. Ugh. This next wand belongs to Narcissa. I've always hated Narcissa. And this is so uncomfortable. There are ridges. Ridges. Little pokey ridges that try to kill you when you hold the wand. I don't know if she has like super rough skin or something and she can't feel it, but like this is a terrible wand when it comes to like comfortability. I mean, you could probably get used to it eventually. I'm just like sitting over here waving it along the side of my room. But I honestly hate this and there's just some silver detail. It looks like one of those tread things that like they till the dirt with or something. I have no clue what I'm talking about, but yeah. Ignore some background music. I have no clue what my dad's doing in like my living room. <laughs> So, yeah, I would rank this one like a 2 out of 10 because I hate Narcissa and it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> so yeah, we have two wands left now and on to the next wand. So this wand is Malfoy's wand. I knew this at first sight just because Malfoy's wand is the most basic wand in existence. And it's actually very comfortable to hold. It looks like a pen almost. The only thing that just makes it different from being just a straight line is just like these two little circles. And holding it, it works really cool. It's actually pretty heavy compared to the other wands. It might be made out of some kind of like stronger metal. I don't know, but like, I really like it. I would rank it an eight out of ten. I know I haven't, I haven't been ranking, rank, ranking the other ones, but I only rank the ones that are like need, needing to be ranked. So yeah, honestly, Malfoy is like one of my favorite characters in a way. It's probably like my fourth favorite character. So yeah. The last wand, let's get to it. This wand belongs to Flem or Fleur Del Del D E L A C O U R. I can't say it, okay? Delacour. Delacour, right? Delacour. I, I, I don't feel like saying it. D D E L A C U C O U R is much more easier to say than Delacour. So, Fleur. I don't even know how to say it. Fleur. Flee. Flee. Please, <laughs> flee back. <laughs> I can't say it, okay? It's like F-L-E-U-R. Somebody tell me how to say that, okay? I, I don't know how to. At first, I thought this was a lamppost. I'm like, no, this isn't a wand, this is a lamppost. Just because it has like that little, see if the camera would focus, God. There, finally, oh my God. Oh, my energy is full on my Harry Potter game. <laughs> okay, I gotta go grab my wand and do something magical. That's what it says every time you get a notification. It's a cool game, I'd recommend it. Um, so this has like that little spiral that lampposts have, so that's what made me think it. 
um, holding the wand and like waving it. I don't know, I'd give it like a... It's probably a better position than what I'm trying to do here. I would do something like this. I'm doing it like this, like that. It's actually decently comfortable to hold. And there is some nice little, I'm pretty sure these are like leaves or soft feathers or something. Details, details, hello. Focus please, focus please, thank you. Thank you? Okay, this is not working. My camera is like not working today. 5,000 years later, um, whatever, you can see it good enough. There are some flower feather leaf detailings on like here and everything. And along here, no clue what this is supposed to be or anything. I'm gonna get this up really close so I can focus it. There, finally, phew. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. There's some nice details, lamp post. So yeah, let me know what your favorite wand was in the comments below. And I, my favorite wand would have to be um, either Malfoy's wand, the Elder wand, or the basic Harry Potter Acacia wand. That's just what I'm gonna call it from now on. So yeah. So like I said, let me know what your favorite wand is in the comments below and who your favorite Harry Potter character is if you're a Harry Potter person like me. And yeah, so that's it for this video. See you guys later. I'm gonna be reviewing the, um, what, what is this, like the pendant pack thing? You'll see what it is in the next video, whatever. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>